हेलो एवरी वन हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल सो आई वेलकम यू अगैन टू योर सोशल स्टडीज़ क्लास एंड टूडे विल डू क्वेश्चन आंसर्स ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर थ्री दैट इज़ वेदर एंड क्लाइमेट सो इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस वन वर्कशीट फ्रॉम द चैप्टर एंड द टेक्सट बुक क्वेश्चन आंसर्स ऑल राइट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल विल डू सम इम्पॉर्टेंट टर्म्स फ्राम द चैप्टर एंड द टर्म नंबर वन इज वेदर इट्स एन आर टू आर एंड डे टू डे कंडीशन ऑफ द एटमोसफेयर next term is climate it's an average weather condition of a place over a long period of time and the next term is temperature it is the degree of hotness or coldness of the atmosphere on some chosen scale it is commonly measured in celsius or fahrenheit and the last term is humidity the amount of moisture or water vapor present in the air is called humidity so now we'll do very short question answers from the chapter and the question number 1 is which can change frequently weather or climate and the answer is weather can change frequently question number 2 is equator is located at what degree and the answer is equator is located at 0 degree question number 3 is how many heat zones are there and the answer is there are three heat zones that is the torrid zone the temperate zone and the frigid zone Question number 4 is why is land near the equator hotter and the answer is the land near the equator is hotter because it receives more sunlight Question number 5 is what type of climate do the places near the sea coast have and the answer is the places near the sea coast has moderate climate Question number 6 is what is the extent of temperate zone and the answer is the temperate zone lies between the torrid zone and the frigid zone on both the hemispheres Question number 7 is how does rainfall occur and the answer is rainfall occurs when the water vapors in the atmosphere condenses into tiny water droplets Now we'll do some extract based questions and the extract from the chapter is the climate of a region directly depends on the temperature or the degree of hotness and coldness of the air the sun is the ultimate source of heat on the earth it gives off the same amount of heat at all times but every place on the earth does not get the same the distribution of heat on the earth is affected by many factors and so is the climate Now the question number 1 is what is the ultimate source of heat on the earth yes it is very easy the sun is the ultimate source of energy question number 2 is how does the temperature affect the climate of a place and the answer is the climate of a place depends on the temperature or the degree of hotness and coldness of air now the next question is mark true or false give reason for false statement and the first statement is ludhiana is cooler than shimla is it true or false yes it is false because shimla is cooler than ludhiana and the reason is that shimla is at higher altitude than ludhiana next is climate varies from place to place is it true or false yes it is true and the last statement is places close to the sea are very cold is it true or false yes it is false because places close to the sea have moderate climate now we'll do match the following and the first is equator and the answer is 0 degree second is frigid zone and the answer is near poles third is sea breeze it is daytime tropic of cancer it is 23 Point five degree north, and the last is land breeze that is night time. So now we'll do textbook question answers, and first of all we'll do very short question answers. And the question number one is what is weather, and the answer is weather is an hour to hour and day to day condition of the atmosphere. Question number two is what do you know about climate, and the answer is climate is the average weather condition of a place over a long period of time. Question number 3 is name the factors affecting the climate of a place and the answer is the factors affecting the climate of a place are temperature distance from the equator height above the sea level distance from the sea direction of winds humidity and rainfall and ocean currents Question number 4 is define humidity and the answer is the amount of moisture or water vapor present in the air is called humidity 
Now we'll do short question answers and the question number one is the earth is divided into three zones. How? And the answer is on the basis of the heat received we can divide the earth into three zones. That is the torrid zone, the temperate zone and the frigid zone. Question number two is ocean currents affect the climate of the coastal areas. Do you agree with this statement? Give reasons to support your answer. And the answer is yes, because oceans have both the warm and cold currents. These currents affect the climate of the areas. Question number three is Mumbai has moderate climate whereas Delhi experiences extreme climate. Give reasons for the above given statement. And the answer is Mumbai is located near the sea coast while Delhi is far away from it. Therefore, the places near the sea coast have moderate climate while the places far away from it have extreme climate. Question number four is explain how the humidity and rainfall affect the climate of a place. And the answer is the winds blow from the sea or ocean increase the humidity in the air. The amount of rainfall and its annual distribution has a great effect on the climatic conditions. And the distribution is highly uneven and thus we have great variation in the climatic conditions. Question number 5 is temperature decreases with increasing height. How? And the answer is as you increase your altitude, the air pressure decreases. Therefore, the air temperature also decreases proportionately. The pressure drops with altitude. So warm air near the surface of the earth will rise and in rising it will expand and cool. Now the next question is compare the following that is weather and climate. Weather is an R to R and day to day condition of the atmosphere. Weather can change dramatically, for example, a pleasant breezy weather. Whereas climate is the average weather condition of a place over a long period of time. Climate of a place is fixed for months. For example, summer, rainy and winter. Next one is compare between uh, moderate climate and extreme climate. So the places located near the sea coast have moderate climate. Moderate climate that is neither hot in summer nor cold in winter. For example, Mumbai has moderate climate. Whereas the places far away from the sea coast have extreme climate. Extreme climate that is hot summers and cold winters. For example, Delhi has extreme climate. Now the next one is compare between the frigid zone and the torrid zone. So the frigid zone is the area lying near the poles in both the northern and the southern hemisphere. The zone remains very cold throughout the year and the frigid zone is also known as polar zone. Whereas the torrid zone is the area lying between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. The climate is hot and humid throughout the year and the torrid zone is also known as tropical zone. Now the next is compared between the sea breeze and the land breeze. So a sea breeze is formed at daytime. Sea breezes are called onshore winds and sea breezes come from the ocean or other large bodies of water. Whereas a land breeze is formed at night, land breezes are also known as offshore winds and land breezes come from land. Now the last question is Ludhiana and Shimla lies at the same latitude but Ludhiana is hotter as compared to Shimla why? And the answer is Shimla is located at the height of 2276 meters above the sea level whereas Ludhiana is only at a height of 250 meters above the sea level. Thus we find that the temperature decreases with increase in height above the sea level. So these were the question answers of chapter number 3 and this is all for today. So we'll meet once again in a new video with a new topic. Till then take care, stay home, stay safe. Thank you.